Hey everyone, I'm Robin and this is BitBirdie and welcome to devlog number 7. If you're new to the channel, my game will have bullet hell combat like in Enter the Gungeon, plus NPC dialogue and story elements like in Night in the Woods. The main thing I accomplished in the past couple of weeks was the health system. Let's talk about those hearts in the top left corner. The first thing I drew up was a normal heart, but it looked a little boring so I was like, maybe we could make it shaped like the player character's head. That'd be cute. So I made this, but this looked a little weird, so I was like, oh, maybe we should make it made of metal. And then ended up with this, which I think looks super cool. But when I put them in the game, they just looked a little out of place. You're pretty much going to be running around in nature the whole time, and nothing else around you will be made of metal. It might be cool to show these when you have like some special armor or something though. So metal looks a little bit natural in this game, but what if I made them out of wood? So here's a wooden heart. I decided to go back to hearts because a wooden husky face might not be the best indicator of health. It's a bit rough, but I decided to just roll with it and create 75%, 50%, 25%, and empty hearts. Here it is in the game. What do you guys think? I'm still not 100% sure I like it, so feel free to leave a comment below if you have any ideas. You might have noticed that the player and the enemies have hurt boxes now. So when they get hit, they'll flash white, and in the player's case, he'll go invincible for a short time. I recently released a tutorial for this, so definitely check that out if you're curious how I implemented it. I'll put a link in the description below. Another feature I added was a way to prevent enemies overlapping each other when they're following the player. If you've ever built a game where there is a bunch of enemies following you, you probably ran into the same issue. I followed a tutorial by Heartbeast to fix this using something he calls soft collisions. I'll put this in the description too. But then I added another important feature on top of that. So the way the soft collision works is when an enemy's Area 2D is overlapping with another enemy's Area 2D, a force vector is applied that goes in the opposite direction of the other enemy. But there's a problem. When one enemy is staying still and the other enemy is trying to move toward the player, this guy will never be able to pass this one because the force vector is pointing in the exact opposite direction that he's trying to move in. I needed a way for this guy to be able to walk around when he's being blocked like this. So this is my soft collision script. It's pretty much the same as the tutorial, except I'm rotating the push vector by 45 degrees. And that's going to have a 50% chance of rotating negative 45 degrees and 50% chance of positive 45 degrees to give some variation in the enemy's movements. Now that we've added this fix, you can see that this enemy will eventually find its way around. That's it for this devlog. If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe so you can follow along with my game. If you have any ideas for other videos you'd like to see, just leave a comment below, and I'll see you next time!